Also, Education Cabinet Secretary Jacob Kaimeni insisted that even though ranking has its merits, the demerits were much, much more. Ranking or not to rank schools and individuals. We fact from 2014 national examinations. The ministry has discontinued ranking at national, county, and sub-county levels. We have critically looked at the merits and demerits of ranking. While ranking of candidates, schools, and individuals and some counties might have or does have some benefits that they offer, the demerits of ranking far outweigh the merits of the same. Listen to that. The demerits of ranking outweigh the merits of the same. So what are some of these demerit, demerit, demerits so that you can understand? Let me start with the number one. One, summative examinations such as KCPE and indeed KCSE assess, assess the product, not the process. The product and not the process. Using means cause alone to rate learners or institutions does not give conclusive evidence of the effects of various variables, such as what? Physical resources. Our schools don't have the same physical resources. That's a fact. The teacher-pupil ratio is not the same in our schools. There are schools where there's a teacher-pupil ratio of 20 to 1. Others, it's maybe 60 to 1. Can you compare such schools? Think about it. How about instructional materials? Some schools are well endowed than others, for sure. Some even are using computers. There are some which have electricity, others don't have for the time being. Yet, we say we must compare them. All these, including school management, they impact on the performance of any school. What is the other issue? The other issues are some unscrupulous ends and proprietors of schools use an ethical method to appear in the merit list. You know what I mean? Eh? They want to be, to be known. They are always number one. There is no harm. But the way it's done, my brothers and sisters, I can tell you it is unacceptable. You cannot think about it. In the process of trying to be number one, as an individual or as an institution, they cause untold suffering to students and their parents in the pursuit of improved performance. For instance, weak pupils are forced to repeat classes. You need not need to go to national music festivals. Karuga, Manano. And the pupils cry to the president and myself, please do something about being forced to repeat classes, particularly standard seven level. Really? Why should we force our children to repeat classes? In some cases, people are even forced to transfer from private schools to some other schools on flimsy grounds. Very flimsy. One of the reasons, eh? As if you don't belong, in quotes. And then number three, ranking creates unnecessary competition among schools. It is therefore not un unsurprising that people engage in examination regularity, irregularities so that you can favorably compete with others, so that you can be ahead of others. Number four, as I've already said, it is not fair ladies and gentlemen, to compare institutions that have distinct differences in terms of resources, infrastructure, really. 
comparing the uncomparable, as some people tell you. Number five, in the wake of great demand for places in primary schools, some schools deliberately maintain small numbers. Small, 20, 15 sometimes. And imagine our small children are interviewed at pre-unit level. Oh, really? It's unbelievable. And then when you maintain these small classes, totally uneconomical to the parents who take their children there. I have to teach your chapak. Too much, eh? To keep them there. Then you are telling me that we, re we retain this ranking. Apana, where's the cunning? Number six. Selection is started as a very early. Very early. Stress. To na inansia mapema njameni. Muzee duda. Nirikweli? Mapema. Many schools have abandoned the non-examination subjects. Physical examination is no longer necessary. Music and the art. How do we talk about gifted children when the art and the music are not considered relevant? Tell me. All oh, work and no play. What happens? Makes a jack, jack, a dull boy, isn't it? Or a dull girl. Do you want our children to be that dull, really? That's the issue. Number eight, ranking leads to what is called rote learning. Cramming, rearing. That's what we do every other time, which stresses memorization of facts while ignoring the concept of development of manipulative scales and attitude. When are we going to teach our children the right attitude? At some point. Thus, teaching in schools is geared towards nothing else but academic performance. As somebody has said, we are converting our children into robots. Robots! Muntu wanaenda kirasi and then and class from Monday to Monday. Hata weekends, some people teach on Sundays. Jamini. Hata kuomba mungu. God given right. 